everybody, it's Heather and I'm back with another process video today. And today's video is going to be an 8.5 by 11 layout. This is going to be for my scrapbook. Um, for my new followers, since I have um, a lot of people that haven't been following me that long, um, I have many different albums going on at once. So I always am always, always doing one for my daughter um, because she's six and it's on, It's an ongoing process with her. Um, I take lots of pictures and so I've always got an album going on for her. Um, I just recently finished up my Disney album, uh, so I'm done with that one. And then I'm also doing an album of me and people. So um, me and my daughter, my husband and I, um, friends, family, and me. So it's an album for me. And then I'm also working on an album that's a continuing, continuous thing of just pictures of my husband and I. So right now, um, I currently have three albums going. So this one is going into the album of me. <laughs> um, so you can see that this album is obviously an eight and a half by 11. Um, because most of the pictures are just one picture layouts. Now, a lot of my layouts that I do are one picture, um, but many of them that I do for my daughter's album are multiple pictures. So I like to, when I'm doing multiple pictures, I like to keep it at a 12 by 12. When I'm doing um, just one, when I'm just focusing on one picture, which is um, all the time in my album, it's just one picture on each layout. So that's why I do the eight and a half by 11. Um, the background paper is from Maggie Holmes crepe paper confetti collection. And then I'm also going to use, um, a piece out of this paper pad, which is from craft market, um, from crepe paper. So that is what I matted the photo on. It's like a wood grain, and then like a um, like a light blue diagonal, um, and then all of the embellishments that I'm using are from the confetti collection from Crate Paper Maggie Holmes. Um, I've had these for quite a while, and I'm trying to use them up to make room for new stuff, right? <laughs> Um, and on the acetate pieces, I noticed that there's like a film on it. So make sure that you peel that off if you have those. Um, because I don't believe that I peeled them off on any of the other ones that I've used so far. But I just recently figured out that it had um, like a overlay, I guess, maybe. I don't know if that's what you would call it. So these two little banners, it's a blue and a pink one. And they are both acetate. And I'm going to grab this sticker book, and it's a Dear Lizzie sticker book, um, and just layer a gold heart on top of those two little banners. And I use my tiny attacher to staple that little gold heart right there in between the two banners. And that's the only sticker that I'm going to use out of that. I just was trying to find something little because most of these pieces from the confetti collection are quite big. And... I just wanted something there kind of in the middle of those two banners. So this is an old picture. I think my daughter was four in this picture. And we actually were on a hayride um, at the pumpkin patch. And she might have been two. She might have just turned three. She was three or four. I can't remember. This is, like I said, it's an old picture. Um, I'm pretty sure she had just turned four. Anyways, so we were on a hayride with some friends. We always went to the same pumpkin patch. Um, it was close to my mom's house where I grew up. And at that time, I, I believe we were not we were not living there, but we went to visit. And so I got to take her to the pumpkin patch there. Um, and so it was just kind of, it's kind of a tradition. So... I layered a tag and um, a little ephemera piece that says annual pass, um, the pink and white stripe that you see there. And 
um, I'm just layering this little flower um, and some leaves and I'm really trying to bring in some more of that black and white. I really, really like the black and white contrast with um, the pinks and the blues and the gold. So I'm going to bring in some more of those black and white leaves. Some of these pieces are vellum. Some of them are acetate. Some of them are just regular paper pieces. Um, but I like the mix of it because it definitely gives the whole page like a different unique texture. And um, the Darling is an acetate piece. Now, right now, I'm just taking a picture of it just to make sure that I lay everything back down kind of in the right way. Um, I, I find that that helps me a lot, especially when I have a lot of layering pieces and I have it the way I want it. I don't want to mess it up um, when trying to put it back together. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing everything down. And I really like working with the 8.5 by 11. At first, I was very um, intimidated by it because it's such a small space. And I thought that um, it would look crammed or bunched in. But if you haven't worked with an 8.5 by 11, um, I would suggest that you try maybe. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's, it feels actually like it's easier for me to layer things in a smaller space because I don't have so much white space. Um, and I always love, absolutely love the way my eight and a half and 11 by 11 layouts turn out. You know, sometimes with my 12 by 12s, I look at them and I'm like, I don't know about this one, but with every single eight and a half by 11 layout I've done, I've always loved them. So maybe this is just the, the kind of size that's just right for me. Everybody has their own kind of thing that they like. Um, and I haven't done an eight and a half by 11 uh, page in a while. So um, if they, the albums definitely take up less space. <laughs> so uh, like I said, I'm just gluing everything down. I am going to staple the darling down because it's an acetate in the black you can still see through the black part so I didn't want to put glue behind it and it look funky um, I'm gonna put this little bow down I'm just trying to figure out again just move things around and try to figure out where you want to put it um, that's what I do and I'm gonna use a half of a pop dot just because those two pieces that are layered right there, the long tag and the annual pass, has a staple. I stapled those together so it's kind of up. So I just used the pop dot on that one side. And I'm just trying to look to see what kind of finishing touches. Now I was about to go ahead and do some misting. Um, but you'll see here in just a second, something else caught my eye that was on my table and I decided to go ahead and use that first. So this is a Heidi Swap um, washi booklet, I'm guessing is what it's called. I don't know. It's got a whole bunch of different like washi tape in it and washi tape uh, shapes and things. And I got that from Michaels. Um, this is a black and white stripe. And then I'm also going to use one that says, I love you more. And it's like in a blue color with black writing. And then I'm going to do the misting. And the mists that I'm going to use today um, are the Black Deco Art Media Mister. And I got that from Tupelo Designs LLC from my design package. And I'm also going to use the Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold. And let me just say, I've always loved the gold, the Heidi Swap Color Shine. It's like my favorite. I'm almost out. But the black, oh my goodness, it is, it did really good with the splatters. And um, I got some really big ones, and I really like big ones. <laughs> and it also dried so fast. Like, it just, like, sank into the paper. It, like, sucked it up. I don't know. Crazy. Um, anyways, that is the layout for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And join me tomorrow 
I will be doing a, another video on my Halloween mini album. So thanks so much for stopping by. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Bye.